Mentioned the fire has been burning for many hours now, and it's very, very difficult for firefighters who are working on the front line. They have been working nonstop to get this fire under control and save as many homes as possible. Chip Osowski is joining us now. He continues our team coverage from Indian Lake Estates. Chip. Yeah, a lot of tire, tired firefighters out here. Basically, what you're seeing behind me is ground zero. This is the command post where we've got dozens of firefighters getting ready to go out into the thick of things. We've got uh, rescue crews from Polk County as well as Hillsborough County mutual aid out here working to fight this fire. Uh, Division of Forestry is basically taking the lead out here as far as fighting the brush fire. What the other crews are doing is basically protecting homes and property. We have a number of different videos and pictures out here from uh, from different agencies showing the firefighters in action. It's been a very, very busy day out here. The Division of Forestry alone has 13 bulldozers out here and seven tanker trucks working to contain this thing. As I'm sure Jen mentioned, it's a huge area out here, a lot of brush, a lot of dry brush, hundreds of homes, hundreds of evacuations. Now there has been quite a bit of speculation in this area about this fire being started intentionally. I did ask the sheriff about that. He told me that while this fire is still in under investigation, if it was intentionally set, that's bad news for someone. Sheriff, it's like if it's determined that this is arson, it's going to be a bad day for someone in Polk County. You know, the fact that anyone would put lives and property at risk through a fire is a, is a horrible event. But I can assure you of this. There will be a complete and thorough investigation by the state. We will support them. And if someone is setting these fires, we will find out who they are and we will put them in jail. So still a very active scene out here. Firefighters are going to be out here throughout the night and into the morning. We expect another update around noon tomorrow. What we're waiting on now is hopefully a ride along with one of these crews to get to actually the front line where this is all taking place. Keith and Jen. Well, Chip, we understand that Grady Judd isn't just making sure that people are leaving that area to be safe, but apparently he's already also concerned about people who were coming into that area, possibly looting. Is that right? Well, absolutely, Jen. This area, there are no um, street closures around Indian Lake Estates, but the neighborhood itself is locked down. No one who does not live in this area is allowed in. So basically, they're trying to keep the looky-loos out of the area, and obviously they're trying to keep people who are trying to loot out of the area. Bad news for those folks. So. This is an area people need to avoid. If you don't live here, don't come here. This is a serious situation. Firefighters trying to get the situation under control. We don't need to have traffic problems with people trying to trying to get a look at what's happening. Out here. Or, or possibly even stealing. I like what Sheriff Judge said. You don't want to show up in your car and go home in our car, in meaning car. a police car. So uh, stay out of there. Thank you, Chip Osowski, reporting live in Indian Lakes Estate tonight. Those dry 